हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स बिलीव मी टुडे सेशन विल बी वेरी मच हेल्पफुल टू यू बिकॉज टुडे आई विल शेयर द मोस्ट आस्ट कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस इन कैपजिमिना एग्जाम एज ऑल यू नो इन कैपजिमिना एग्जाम द फर्स्ट कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस विल बी आस्ट फ्रॉम स्ट्रिंग एरे और मैट्रिक्स सो आई हैव लिस्टेड ऑल द कोडिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दोज टॉपिक विच आर मोस्ट आस्ट एंड रिसेंटली आस्ट and i guarantee if your questions is related to string array or matrix then the question will be from today's session so without any bug bug let's start with the first question so the first question is this right move all the hashes to front you have to move all the hashes to the front of the given string right so here is the sample input that is move hash hash has to hash front so you have to move all the hash character to the front of the given string without changing the position of the Uh, uh, other characters like M O V and H S H, right? So you have to keep their relative position as it is, right? And I hope you understood. The same problem can be asked in different format. Like uh, you'll be given a binary digit one zero zero one 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 this way, and you'll be asked to push all the ones at the front and uh, all the zeros at the end. Then you can be asked the same problem in the different format. Like you'll be given an array. Like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you'll be asked to push all the odd values to the front and all the even values to the end. So I hope you understood the same problem can be asked in different format. But the main uh, concept is this: you have to move something to the front or you have to move something to the end this way, right? So let's go to the next problem. But before I proceed to the next problem, I would recommend you to have the prime materials of Capgemini in which I have included all the previous year questions, all the coding questions, all the mock test, and the game based aptitude questions as well. So to get that, knock me at my Insta ID, Instagram.com/techno.tf. You will get it. And be mindful, this is paid, right? Okay. So the next problem is this string compression. So reduce the size of a string by encoding consecutive repeated uh, repeated characters with their count. So you will be given a string. And you have to count the occurrences of each character. Like a occurrence two, occurrence of b is four, occurrence of e is four, occurrence of f is two, occurrence of g is three. So you have to return the single character. I mean the character at first once, then just return the count of itself. Right? A two, b four, e four, f two, g three. This way, right? And the same problem can be asked in differently a different way. That means, uh, let's say you you are given a a uh, sentence string li like i love you right so this way you have to print uh, count the spaces you have to count the characters or they may ask the count of vowel count of consonants so this way they can ask you right so the same problem can be asked in different way just be mindful the concept is same right okay so let's go to the next problem the next problem is this and this is also a very important question and this can be asked in uh, the advanced section so spiral matrix traversal so you have to write a function which traverses the matrix in spiral format right so at first the first sample input is the uh, size of the matrix like 5 cross 4 and you then the inputs are the um, arrays right which uh, which is the matrix uh, which is 5 cross 4 right and uh, you have to traverse through all the elements in uh, in um, spiral format then you have to print all the values while traversing in spiral format right like uh, 1 2 3 4 8 12 16 20 19 18 17 13 9 5 6 7 11 15 19 18 14 10 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, this way right so i hope you understood the task right so if you understood then please start giving the answers of those questions whichever i am going through you right okay so actually i have already solved these problems Uh, in the playlist of capgemini so please go through the capgemini placement preparation it will be very much helpful to you because there i have included all the pseudo code questions coding questions and the related questions like you know, game based aptitude as, as well right so to go, uh, please go through those it will be very much helpful to you okay so let's go to the next problem that is this count integer occurrences so you will be given an array like uh, this uh, 1 2 3 3 3 4 1 4 1 5 2 so you have to just return the occurrences of each digit each character or each uh, number each values in the uh, in, the, in the array right so here as you can see number of uh, occurrence of 1 is 3 and occurrence 2 occurs two times 3 occurs two times 4 occurs two times and 5 occurs one time and you just have to return the output this way right so this is quite similar with the previous one so i hope you understood what's the task is right so please give the answers 
okay so the next question is this so the next problem is regarding the equation right so this is one of the most asked questions you can be asked from the quadratic equation or any mathematical based equation uh, just uh, here as you can see you are given this equation and you are told that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 so what's the output should be so just solve so this way you can be asked from any other equation based question right so be prepared for those as well so the next problem is this calculate total tires so in this problem you have to calculate the total number of tires in a dealership based on the number of cars and bikes right so as you can see here is the sample input that is the three is the dealerships and these are the three combinations like four cars two bikes four cars zero bikes one cars two bikes so you have to return the number of tires can be possible right so four cars means four multiply four 16 tires and two bikes means two cross two four uh, four tires that means 16 plus four that is 20 tires can be possible and in this case four uh four cars zero bikes means four mu multiply four is 16 and zero multiply two zero so 16 tires can be possible in this dealership and in this dealership one multiply four and two multiply two is two so four plus two uh, sorry four plus four is eight so this will be the answer so as you know the cars are having four tires and the bikes are having two tires that's why we have to multiply four with uh, four and we have to multiply this two with two that means and after that we have to add those right so that means 16 plus 4 this is 20 so the output is 20 right so this way you have to return the output i hope you understood what the task is so start giving the answers right so i'll give the heart and if you are giving the 10 answers of i mean the 10 questions answered today then there is something waiting for you okay so let's go to the next problem that is find factor so you will be given a number 54 and you have to return all the factors of it like uh which uh, by which the number is divisible like 1 2 3 6 9 18 27 54 are the numbers by which it can be divisible right so i hope this is very bas basic question so i hope you will uh, answer the question okay please don't underestimate this type of easy problems because these are most asked questions like uh, find factors find palindrome check find uh, fibonacci series find leap years these are very easy questions but these are most asked questions like so i hope you will give importance okay so the next problem is maximum marks in semester so this is also a question based on array so find the maximum marks scored by a student in each semester so you will be given a number of semesters then uh, the numbers of sub number of subjects like three and the numbers so three subjects number consecutively 50 60 and 70 and in the second semester the number of, number of subjects is four and uh, the consecutive values of those like 90 98 76 67 and the in the third semester the subjects are two and the values i mean the numbers are 89 and 76 so you have to just return whichever the values is maximum so they are just checking if you can solve the problem like uh, uh, find maximum value in the array or not so you have to just return the maximum values from those array so 70 is the maximum 98 is the maximum and 89 is the maximum in this array so you have to just return those consecutively right i hope you understood what the task is very basic task you have to just return the maximum value in the array right so i hope you will give the answer in the comment section okay so let's go to the next problem that is palindrome check so check if a given string is a palindrome or not so palindrome is nothing but a string which looks same from the starting to end and end to start right so level is uh, same as from starting to end and ending to start right so that's why this is a palindrome so you have to print yes and if this is not a palindrome then print no okay so i hope you understood so i will not waste time here so let's go to the next problem that is based on sum of digits so this is the problem which is the concept of various problems right so sum of digits uh, like 1 2 3 4 you are given us uh, an integer and you have to return the sum of digits like 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 10 so you have to return this 10 so the same problem can be asked in different format like uh, you can be asked uh, return the 
binary values of the decimal number or you can be asked uh, return the decimal values of the binary numbers and also you can be asked like check if the integer is a palindrome or not right so this same concept can be applied there so i hope you will give importance to these coding questions and you will look for more coding questions and if you want more such coding questions if you want more such materials prime materials then please knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tv this is paid but this will be very much fruitful to you believe me and please to motivate me please like the video and please subscribe this channel and please let others subscribe this channel so that i can be motivated and i can upload more videos on this channel right so thank you for today's session